so rough right now to get excited, but I'm excited for Eric. We have to get that weight down. It's 6 a.m. It's still dark outside. We only slept about like two hours and 30 minutes. We're gonna go head downstairs, straight back in the steam room, hit up these last eight pounds, and then uh, go with him to get the weigh-ins and check. I have to go pick up some salt at the store, which is just right downstairs. Today's gonna be a rough day. Uh, oh my God. All right, haven't yet. Please like, subscribe, click that notification bell so you guys know when these videos do come out. If you have any comments to say, if you want to know anything, anything that's fighting specific, rehab specific, training specific, down below. All right, let's go see Eric. So Xavier is in the sauna room right now with Eric, just making sure that we kind of get that weight down. Man, we have a lot to lose, a little bit more than expected since last night. Didn't work out so well, we lost what we needed to do, but right now in the morning, got a, at least about 10 to 11 pounds to hit right now uh, we're trying to get some mice we're trying to get more towels and I'm gonna try to go to this grocery store closed last night when we wanted to get some stuff I'm gonna see if we can get a little bit of gum or something just so you can chew and have something like ice in his mouth while he's in the sauna since he can't really eat anything it's gonna be a long stretch bro long stretch so we got the bag food has acquired back in the room <laughs> X, X is fucking chilling uh, oh man what uh it is what it is it <laughs> is what it is eric we lost seven pounds from yesterday and this morning again with no sleep even eric like we're saying we didn't sleep eric didn't sleep either you know probably so, worse than us yeah probably so he's probably feeling even worse than us because he's not eating because he's dehydrating feels like shit um so we were in the sauna and steam room finishing up and then just 195.8 something like that it's just cut off and there's no reason to go any lower than that. When you guys are talking about fights, if you miss weight, you do lose money in your purse. In UA, you lose like quite a bit of money if you're just two pounds over. So we were all like 10 pounds over and there was no reason to make him keep suffering, especially so close to the time of like the final time you can actually check in. We went, X went to his opponent, spoke to him and said, is it okay if this is the weight? Like, like it's not happening. Do you, are you still gonna take it? And he goes, I'm gonna take it no matter what. So we said, Eric, stop, don't cut weight. There's no reason to do five more pounds, feel like complete shit, and then just maybe perform even worse. So just stop, we're gonna stop it here. He said, okay, let's go to the weigh-ins, check in, get everything done. Back in the room, we're gonna fucking chill, relax, let Eric chill a bit, and then just to keep him positive and get out of this kind of like mood, you know, he's probably feeling like shit too, man. Like being a fighter, he also was like, fuck, like I should have made weight. Easy. Yeah, so. We'll probably go out, chill a little bit, but right now we're gonna relax, let Eric relax, and then I'll let you guys know what's coming up next. I said, I said, I should have more of this now. So, right now, Rashid who just came to the gym. He brought us to a place called Primal Gym. It's freaking dope, it's awesome, it's huge. He gave us a uh, private room, so alone in just this room right here. Pretty psyched that we're actually at a place like this. I'm going to show you guys how the outside looks right now. that there's an outside portion and inside Jiu Jitsu, MMA, and then like a private room. Pretty much. We're gonna finish the workout. Catch you guys when we're done. Training. <laughs> At the restaurant. How are we feeling? No, I feel great. It's really, really good. Ready to smash this guy and then... Uh... Go back to Kenya. Oh, well, I gotta hang out in Abu Dhabi. I know it's a rough life. I'm gonna <laughs> hang out here for another uh, three weeks and then go back home and uh, yeah, have a nice life. You know? What are you doing after your fight for white? Oh, we're gonna have some, we're gonna have some uh, cake, maybe oh, cheesecake. Trying to get Zach to eat some cheesecake, get a little meat on those bones. He's <laughs> looking a little small, so we gotta buff him up. That's it. Hey. One more. Hey. 
What up guys? It's actually the morning of the next day and I was supposed to finish the vlog yesterday just to kind of end that day. Exhausted. We were completely exhausted. Shit happens. We were so tired from just everything going on for the fight and the weight cut. Then we went to go get some food with Eric. Then we trained and everything. Got home super late. Stayed up because tonight we're probably going to be up anyways and we need to be hyped for Eric. Especially our two corner man. We're going to train him. We're going to warm him up. So we kind of want to stay awake. So we pushed ourselves to sleep uh, only at like 1230 at night and just freaking passed out. So I could have finished the vlog. Just going to end here and we're going to restart here for the next day, which is going to be fight day. And fight day is going to be a great vlog. There's a lot of people here. Khabib's here. Dana White's coming. Matt Sarah's coming because they're doing that like uh, that fight show that they have. So it's going to be a really sick event. You guys are going to be able to see kind of everything backstage. So make sure that you click that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and then comment down below if you guys have any questions, you guys like this, not like this, you know, just throw it in there. Just a little sprinkle, you know. But I hope you guys like today's video. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.